I feel like vlogging, but I'm walking. So now I'm walking and vlogging. Oh yeah. This is so talented. And uh, I don't mind if people see me doing it. Used to be concerned about it. I don't know why. But, you know, I have friends in other countries, and this is how I connect to them, so, you know, get used to it, planet. <laughs> I'm going to be seeing more and more of this, I think. Um, but yeah, the topic on my mind right at this moment is that I always refer to myself as being a, a creative type. I do think of myself, well, I, I, I'm definitely a daydreamer, and that implies to me that I am imaginative. But when I think about it, I don't actually make a lot of things anymore. When I was younger, I used to do a lot of writing and a lot of drawing. Once in a while, I still make things out of Crayola clay, just for fun. But I find now that while I definitely still appreciate the artists of the world and those who make things, my contribution to that is actually a financial one. I love the makers of stuff. I support them by giving them money. And in between, uh, I don't have a direct connection to them most of the time, so I end up having to, um, there, there needs to be a middleman, there needs to be a store in the middle, and also I need advertisers to tell me where the stuff is. Uh, traffic, I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, so anyway, um, yeah, so there's all these people that they all need money if they want, well, if I, if I want to have the cool things that people make, uh, these people in between, they need to be paid as the ones who let me know that it's there and then the ones who get it to me. And I guess this has crossed my mind because I'm on my way to my favorite store. Well, I don't know if it's my favorite store, but I go there a lot. And uh, I'm always thinking about shoplifters. Not shoplifting, not that I'm going to do it, but those who shoplift. Spoiling everything for the rest of us. If you actually like the things that you get if you genuinely want to support the people who make those things and be grateful to those who advertised them and who supplied them, then you need to pay for them. You know, it's you, you just, you screw everybody when you steal. And I guess it's a, a topic that hits pretty close to home to me because uh, when I was very young, I did shoplift a little bit, and I had friends who just loved to steal. And now just the, the thought of it really sickens me, it saddens me. And I always think about it when I'm going to this store because you may remember the Code 60 video. <laughs> if not, maybe you should go check it out because it's kind of funny. Just the idea that that I would shoplift when my feelings about the subject are so passionate against any kind of theft. Anyway, uh, pay for your DVDs. Don't pirate things. <laughs> Bye for now.